Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, nice to see you again. Today, if I get my act together properly and release this on a Tuesday, this can be a quick tip Tuesday video. I'm going to build a bit of a, an emergency filter, mechanical filter, a clearing up your water filter, clarifying filter, I'm not sure what we call it, but anyway, you need three things, this is a bit of a quick DIY hack, you need an empty bottle, some kind of pump that's got an inlet and an outlet, and some filter matting. And the idea is that you attach the pump to the bottle, which is filled with the filter wadding, and stick it in your tank, and after a period of time, it'll clear up your water. I'm doing it to try and deal with this tank at the moment. Um, if you've seen any of my live streams, you'll know that we talked about this, whether it was tannins, whether it was colour from the sand or the gravel or what's going on, but it's got a red tinge, and I can't get rid of it. So I've had various filters on it at the moment, Next step is carbon, but I just don't have any carbon around at the moment. So I thought I'll try out this old one. So this isn't anything new. You may have seen it hundreds of times on different channels, but I'll just go through how to do it quickly. So cut off the end of your bottle after having cleaned it, obviously. Uh, I'm going for quick and dirty, as you can tell. This isn't a precision job at all. Take up your filter wadding and stuff it inside said bottle. You don't want it too compact or too loose, essentially it'll block too quickly if you do that. Uh, get it in there and then what you want to do is figure out which end of your pump is the outlet and attach this to the other end. So in this pump I know that the water comes in here and goes out of here, so I need to attach that there like so. Now that doesn't quite fit, as you can see there's a bit of a wobble so you can either use a piece of tape, an elastic band or even a bit of the filter wadding itself and just get that to sit securely on it. Because it gets suction when you switch it on it doesn't need to be too tight and it'll be fine. And it's as simple as that really, you just pop that in your tank. So there you go, that's pretty much it. I stick it in, the water goes in one end, it gets drawn through all the poly filter and out again hopefully cleaning it in the process. Now, uh, like I say, I'm using filter floss there just because I want to do some mechanical filtration. I have used this in the past with uh, putting in carbon bags or Purigen even, you could do that, as long as you've got it in a bag so it's not going to get just straight sucked through. Um, again, use the filter floss as wadding so it just doesn't all fall out on you. And it's really good for removing meds or any kind of emergency treatments that you just need a, a quick one off. I find it works well with most fish um, because of the, the filter rule is packed so densely that it's quite a slow flow going in because it's a wide opening and it, it works pretty well. So as always thank you for joining me, let me know in the comments what you think if you've got a better idea. This isn't my invention, this is an old old invention, um, it's been kicking around for years and years and years but sometimes the old tips are the best ones. As always, click that like button if you liked it, click the dislike button if you didn't, and give me a subscribe if you fancy it and you won't miss the next video. See ya!